Welcome to the Off the Leash podcast. I'm AJ Switek here with the newest member of the Mankato Moondogs coaching staff, Brendan Howard. Coach, what's it been like here in the early goings of your season? What have you been liking here, making the jump from being a player to the coaching side? Uh, yeah, it's uh, when I when I first got the call from Coach Danny Nealon to uh, join the staff. I was super grateful to him and the Moondogs organization. Um, just continuing to have the opportunity to stay around the game day in and day out was a blessing, you know, kind of ending the playing career last week and moving to the coaching side. Um, I'm telling everybody it's kind of taking some getting used to with all the kids calling me coach and sir because I'm maybe two years older than them. But uh, no, it's it's been great. It's a great group of guys and they're a lot of fun to be around and they love to work. So it's been a lot of fun so far. Absolutely. And then speaking of another quick transition, that's something that we're going to be trying today. Uh, a couple of your players, someone else on your coaching staff submitted a uh, some weird food combinations, I'll put it that way, that uh, we're stuck here trying. So uh, while they grab and put together behind the scenes whatever concoctions uh, the coaching staff and players put together, what's the weirdest food combination that you like? What's something a little off the leash that you're a fan of? Ooh, um, uh, I'm, I'm pretty standard, but I guess uh, eggs and ketchup would probably be a weird one that a lot of people don't like. Um, that's, that's probably hey, at least in Indiana, yeah. uh, most people are, are down for that, yeah. but it looks like we've got the first one ready. Are we supposed to dip the banana in the drink here? Yeah? All right. Oh, gosh. So we have a banana. Is that milk? And, yeah, milk. <laughs> okay. You gotta dip the whole thing here? I guess so. You gotta guess. First of all, we gotta rate it out of 10. Then you gotta guess whose gross idea this was. Milky banana. I don't know. Okay. All right, cheers. Cheers. Like, I just don't think I'd go out of my way to do that. No, that's, uh, honestly, it just made the banana more, more mushy. I, I, think. I think the exact um, same thing. It's just a texture killer. You can't really taste the milk. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's really not that good. The, you must have been in a, a pretty dark place when you made that decision. <laughs> <laughs> grew but, up in an um, ingredient household. This is, this is all you had in the fridge. Are we supposed to guess who? I know who it is. You've got to guess who in that clubhouse is crazy enough to say that this is something they do on a regular basis. I, I, I'm, I'm lost. The only thing I can think of is somebody was trying to add like more protein to a banana. So um, I'm going to go with a smaller person maybe. All right. Let's go... I don't know. Danny. Let's go, Danny. That's one for one. That's on the money. <laughs> so he knows his head coach well. Yeah, this is a Danny Nealon concoction. Wow. How are you rating it out of 10? I think that, uh, you know, it's not like it's disgusting. It's just not something that I would ever do. So I'm going to go with the six. If I go five out of 10 for a normal banana, just like average, I think I would probably do like a three and a half. All right. So we can uh, get this out of our way here now Beautiful. and uh, bring in our, our next concoction, which is Doritos dipped in peanut butter. Oh, this one had a long explanation with it. Really passionate about the Doritos and passionate. peanut butter. I'm a big peanut butter fan, but I don't know. Peanut butter goes Doritos. good with a lot of things, but let's see if Doritos are one of them. Okay. Are you going on here? I think I'm gonna do like a relative dip. Oh no. If this is what your guys are eating on the road, the bus has to be getting uh, pretty gross. <laughs> I'm gonna go passionate. Alright, he's going with the big dip. I'm going passionate. I'll match it a little bit. I don't know about this one. Cheers, man. Cheers. Doritos and peanut butter. Um, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not gonna lie. I I do not understand why anyone would ever want to do that no, again. I uh, I'm on the same train of thought. I uh, there was <laughs> there was a glimpse of it. Yes, yeah, so, the first crunch, and I was like, okay, there might be something there. It's almost it's a texture thing. Like, why are you putting? The aftertaste, whenever I finally got the nacho taste with the peanut butter, that's where it ended for me. But um, Yeah, I, I can't say I'm a fan of that, but I am a fan of the team yep. and this player who has contributed to the squad. Who do you think's wild enough to put these two together? Oh, gosh. Um, they got to be out there to go for that one. Uh, shoot. I'm honestly shocked you're one for one. You have a, a big roster to pick from. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm going to guess that it was a left-handed pitcher because those guys are a little bit out there, and this is kind of an out there combination. Uh, I don't know. I feel like our lefties are kind of normal, though. Um, let's go with Reagan Hall. It's Nathan Hook. Okay. Nathan Hook is a, Florida. Uh, okay. yeah, I guess this is what they do down in uh, the Tampa area, but this is... Yeah, that's different. Yeah, different's a way to put it. I think we saved the grossest one for last, personally. Okay. When I saw the list of what we were going to be doing on this show, um, this is the one I'm dreading the most. It's orange juice. This was, yeah, this is a passionate opinion of uh, one of your pitchers. I'll tell you it's another pitcher. Okay. They kind of tend to have the... Uh, more passionately strange opinions when it comes to baseball. This is Oreos and orange juice. He said to get the full experience, you have to really dunk it in there. Let's do it then. Oh man. This is. <laughs> oh God. Well, I'm sorry for putting you through this beforehand. No, it's, Maybe it's good. It doesn't look good. Cheers. <laughs> so, like, we have milk that we just dipped a banana in. I don't understand if you have both in the fridge when you'd ever turn to the orange juice. I think I prefer milk, uh, but I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that wasn't that bad. All right. I I don't know. It kind of tasted like a, like an orange creamsicle flavored Oreo. All right. I'm not in the same camp. <laughs> I think that was rancid, but okay. I guess that everyone has different palates. Okay. Um so who are you tending to agree with here that this maybe isn't the worst mix in the entire world? Um, pitcher, pitcher, pitcher. Um, let's go. Shoot. I'm going to go Rylan Bain. All right. Well, he was set to make the start. It was a rain delay. It's not Rylan Bain down in Hawaii. It is uh, Rocco. Okay. Out of the bullpen who okay. likes to uh, dip his Oreos in orange juice. Yeah. So we're, we're through with the weird food combinations here. We can get this out of the way. Another uh, combination question I have for you here before we finish things up is, uh, you know, one through nine, building a lineup all time. First of all, your position Fill out the infield. Who's your all-time MLB infield? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to have to go Johnny Bench at catcher. Um, I grew up a Reds fan, so uh, that's that's kind of the pinnacle of catching for me. Uh, gosh. Uh, third base, I'll go Stan the Man. Uh, Stan Usual. That's, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, man. Um, shortstop, gosh, uh, I will go Derek Jeter, the captain, um, with Matthew Fleischacker, a close second. Yep, no, nope, that's, he's right up there too. Uh, second base, um, Joe Morgan, uh, 
first base will go gosh um, I'll put old Barry Bonds at first base we'll stick him we'll stick him at first base I know he played a little bit out yeah we'll that's fair make a little price hard for transition yeah. he's the best to ever do it so yeah. but you need three outs in the ninth who's coming out onto the mound you got a solid defense oh gosh maybe minus Derek Jeter but yeah uh Got to go Mariano Rivera. Yeah, nice there you minutes. go. And then out in the outfield, left to right. Left to right. Um, goodness. Uh, I'll just, I think I'll go like childhood guys I grew up watching. Um, gosh. Right, I'll go, uh, I'll go Bryce Harper. I love that guy. Great answer. Um, center field. We'll do um, B.J. Upton, for whatever reason I like that guy growing up. And he gets then, to play around some superstars. Yeah, so. that's it. And add a little speed out there, too. Yeah, absolutely, a top and of the then, lineup. And uh, left field, gosh. Um, uh, draw a blank. We'll do... Uh, We'll do BJ's brother. We'll go Justin Upton. I usually played with those two on MLB The Show growing up, so that's a good one for me. There we go. So he got his all-time nine. That's a fun group. Yeah. Tried some weird combinations, got to know the new coach. Brendan, I really appreciate you coming on here, uh, talking a little bit of baseball, trying some of your own staff and players. Weird creations here, but ultimately uh, that's going to do it for the Off the Leash podcast, so I appreciate it, man. Awesome, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.